All right, guys. So we are out here on the river. Um, we're out here trying to catch pike on Panther Martins again. Um, I haven't even put the the chesty on the video and of it or anything like that. I've just been kind of uh, throwing a few casts and I've already caught two fish. I caught one little camera handle and then I got another. I don't know, 27:30, biggest one that we've got out of this spot since the in the last couple of days or the last two days we fished here biggest one so far but um so i'm gonna throw the chesty on if i uh, end up hooking up with one i'll turn you guys on and uh show you what i got so uh stay tuned another exciting episode for six pursuit uh stay tuned for six pursuit out just hooked into hooked one into one guys let me grab him here all right guys there's that last one i just caught just a little guy, but uh, whew. fish is a fish, so I'll take him back in. There he goes. Well, I'm gonna show you what I'm doing here. What I tie on. So right here, I got myself a nice barrel swivel right there. Ten pound test up here. I don't need like to go any more than ten. Then right here. Got 30 pound fluorocarbon leader. I'm gonna take a little chunk of that right here. Just give it a nice snip. Just like so. There's my leader. So I'm gonna take my swivel right here. Just like, oops, dropped it. <clears throat> Just like so. Tie it like this, right up in here. Tie my knot right here. I just use a traditional knot. Don't get too fancy with my knots like most people. Put it on there. Tighten it up. Take the scissors. Cut the excess right here, just like so. Then I'm going to actually switch it up. I caught those uh, two on that uh, red and yellow panther martin, but I think I'm going to try and switch to a white rooster tail here. I'm going to tie that on, go chuck that around, see if I can't pick up some more pike or maybe even a bonus trout. That'd be nice, uh, but we'll see. Um, you guys stay tuned. Um, hopefully it gets more exciting and catch some more fish for you guys. So uh, stay tuned. 4-6 Pursuit out. Alright guys, so... Here's a little tip for everyone out there that does any type of winter fishing, you know, on rivers and stuff. Pike, trout, whatever you're fishing for. The key, especially using spinners, is you work them very, very slow. The fish are cold, water's cold, they're lethargic, they don't want to move fast for anything. So you just go nice and slow, slow retrieve, let the bait spin in the current of the river. You don't have to make it spin by reeling fast. And then... That's how I get a lot of my strikes is just going really, really slow because in the summertime, you know, you want to work fast with lots of movement, jerk in motion, but here, nope, just nice and slow and spin just like that. Just a little tip for you guys. So, uh, <clears throat> once I uh, get one here, I'll uh, turn you guys back on, show you what I got. Stay tuned, 4-6 Pursuit out. All right, guys, buddy Clay, he's hooked up right here with one, pretty decent one. It's a good one too. I just uh, I just had one following me all the way in, but he didn't grab it. Right as Clay caught this one, but so he's got one hooked right here. Let me uh, I'll get him unhooked, get a picture, and show you guys. Well, we were mistaken. He got himself a nice pike minnow. Not a pike, <laughs> but a pike minnow. He hasn't caught a pike yet. He thought this was his first pike, but ended up being a pike minnow. But you know they're still fun to catch. But hopefully we can get him a pike here soon. All right, stay tuned. Catching lots of fish out here on the river. Can't beat it. Beautiful day. Uh, stay tuned. Four six pursuit out. Oy, gotta love those Panther Martins today. Rocking it. Not big like the summer pike, but I'll take it. It's a lot of fun. It's a nice day today. You betcha. All right, guys. So that was the first one in a while. We had a little 20 minute kind of like drought there, I guess you could call it. Um, but my uncle just hooked up into one. Uh, he's all uh, using a Panther Martin like I was using at the beginning. Um, I want to say his is yellow and white, I want to believe, uh, with that silver spinner on it. Um, 
But, like I said, I was using that yellow and red one, and then I switched to that white one. I had one follow on that white rooster tail so far, and then caught those two on that uh, yellow and white panther martin, and then he just got that one, or yellow and red panther martin, and then he just caught that one on that uh, yellow and white panther martin. So, um, still catching fish out here. Uh, still got like two hours of fish, so I'll turn you guys back on when I got something, or if someone else hooks into something, and uh, anyways, I'll uh, catch you guys later. Stay tuned. Or six pursuit out. Hi guys, so I think that's gonna do it for the day. We're done. Um, <clears throat> I ended up catching two, three, I think three or four. Um, I'm going to catch in three, I'm pretty sure. And then our buddy Clay, he ended up catching a pike minnow. So, I don't know. Pretty good day. Um, so, we're going to pack up and walk out of here. And I hope you guys enjoy this little winter fishing accident, a little break in the, the waterfowl hunting. Been hitting that pretty hard. So, decided to sleep in for a couple of days these last two days. And uh, come out here and do a little bit of fishing. Um... And then the the day before, we ended up killing a doe, and we uh, killed a couple ducks, too. Just walking the walk down here, just brought the shotguns because we're down on the river and shot a couple ducks. So, we're pretty good. Good little break from uh, from hitting the, the grind of the waterfowl pretty hard. So, nice to get out, get some fish. Especially in wintertime, it's always a reward. We can catch some fish in the wintertime that's on open water, not ice fishing. Which, you know, ice fishing's fun, too. We do quite a bit of ice fishing. But, uh, yeah, pretty good day on the river. Can't beat being out here with some family and some friends and on a beautiful day. Very nice day out. So, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Uh, tune in for the next video after this one, huh? You know, give us a like. Give us a follow. Um, tag a couple of your friends in it. Uh, you know, spread the word out there. Subscribe. Uh, hit the little bell button for notifications. But, uh, anyways, thank you guys again so much for watching. And we'll catch you on the next one. 4-6 Pursuit out.